On May 2nd, 1944, officers Joe Davis and David Lee Starr Johnson were walking a footbeat around the 200 block of East Jefferson in downtown Phoenix. The officers were two of only a few African-American police officers in the Phoenix Police Department at the time. Back then, Phoenix had a population of around 65,000, about the same size as the city of Maricopa today. By all accounts, the two officers were proactive and well-liked in the neighborhood that they patrolled. Officer Star Johnson watched a vehicle run a stop sign and walked up to the driver to speak to him. Officer Davis went into a nearby drugstore to grab a cool drink, but kept an eye on his partner from a distance. In a matter of minutes, Officer Johnson would be shot multiple times and fighting for his life on the way to the hospital. This week, I wanna talk about Officer Johnson's story and how the Phoenix Police Department has worked to fix a nearly 80 year injustice. I'm Steve Serbalik and I'm a panel attorney for ASCOPS in Arizona. Officer Johnson wouldn't survive the encounter, but for almost eight decades, he wouldn't be given the recognition every other officer who died in the line of duty receives. Although witness testimony differs, it appeared that Officer Johnson found himself speaking to an off-duty detective of the Phoenix Police Department, Leonce Frenchy Navarre. Frenchy was upset that Officer Johnson stopped the vehicle and the two spoke briefly. At some point, Frenchy drew a revolver and shot Officer Johnson multiple times in the torso and back. Officer Johnson ran to a nearby business and collapsed inside where a business owner tried to help him. Officer Davis ran to his partner and Frenchy and asked why Frenchy had shot him. Frenchy said that Officer Johnson had called him a son of a bitch and he didn't take that from anyone. Frenchy was arrested and tried for the murder of Officer Johnson. Officer Davis testified against Frenchy, but in 1944, saying someone had insulted you was enough to result in an acquittal eventually, especially given the racial tensions at the time. After his acquittal, Frenchy was reinstated as a detective and returned to work at the Phoenix Police Department on October 1st. On October 4th, while Frenchy was in the hallway of the police department getting water, Officer Davis approached Frenchy and shot him in the chest, and Frenchy died. Officer Davis walked to the fourth floor where the jail was at the time and turned himself in to the chief of police. Officer Davis was charged, found guilty, and sentenced to three to eight years in prison. He was paroled in May of 1947 and passed away in the 90s. The whole story is straight out of a noir crime film, but it's all true. Unfortunately, Officer Johnson was never recognized as a line of duty death with the Phoenix Police Department. What surely started as a way to sweep the embarrassing incident under the rug was almost lost to time. Until a few in the Phoenix Police Department dug into the story and took it upon themselves to remedy the situation. Now, I'm not in the habit of doing shout outs to other videos on other channels, but for the rest of this story and the incredible steps the department took in honoring Officer Johnson, check out this video by the Phoenix Police Department. I've also linked Officer Johnson's Officer Down Memorial page in the description of this video. It's long overdue, but I encourage you to leave a reflection thanking him for his dedication as both a U.S. Army veteran and officer with the Phoenix Police Department. If you found this video interesting, please like, share, and don't forget to turn on notifications. It really helps the channel grow. Be on the lookout for new videos. They come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.